Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I am a reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And in today's video, I have another Goodwill Bins thrift haul. So, so these videos are probably my favorite videos to make. They're just so easy and I really love, uh, I love thrifting and I love like showing what I bought. Um, so everything that I'm showing today is actually what I bought uh, this morning. Uh, today is Sunday. What is the day of today? Today is Sunday, November 6th. So we are finally in November. Um, but everything I bought uh, today, I believe my Goodwill bins charges about $1.50 per pound. I know it has gone up. I think it used to be like a dollar. 23 per pound and now it's $1.50. Uh, so I think I did get some heavier items this time. So I would say my cost of goods is probably anywhere from $1.50 to $2 per item. I think in this haul, I think I have around 20 to 25 items. So it's going to be a little bit of a shorter haul, uh, but I did find some really great pieces. So I thought I would just share them. Uh, but starting off, this one is a little bit, a little bit confusing to me. Um, but the retail on this, I'll tell you the brand. The brand is called Hanifa. Uh, it's an extra, extra small to extra small. So a small size, but it's very oversized. Um, I'll, let me just show you that. Hanifa. I don't know if I've really ever heard of that. Hanna, Hanifa. Yeah. So it is this long line purple cardigan with like really long sleeves and a fringe kind of at the end here. So... Basically, uh, what I was Googling is that this piece sells online for over $300. And then the resale was looking anywhere from like $150 to $200. Um, this one used, sorry, $150 to $200 used. That is what I saw. Um, but this one is actually missing, even though it's new with tags, it is missing the belt that comes with it. Um, I looked, honestly, I didn't realize like kind of what this piece was at first, but once I realized what it was, I went back to where I had found it and I probably spent like a good, at least like 30 or 40 minutes, like looking through all those bins up until they took those bins away. I was looking for the belt. Unfortunately, I did not find it. It was so sad, but I was like, it's okay. I think, honestly, I think it will still sell without the belt. Um, so I did go ahead and pick it up. Um, I did see ones that were used. Miss, I saw one, one that was used and missing the belts that sold for $120. So this one is new and missing the belts. So I'm not sh quite sure where that places us. But so next up is another uh, like longer piece. This is a Gap size medium. Is this a medium tall? No, just regular medium. This really cute red floral, I believe it's a midi dress. V-neck, it's got elastic cuffs. So super pretty. And this one, I did find the belt with it. Um, it wasn't attached to the dress, but I found it in the same bin. So we have a belt that goes with that with this one. Um, honestly, if I had not found the belt, I'm actually questioning if I would have even picked it up anyway but it's super pretty and it feels like really good quality. So I'm hoping to get at least like 35 from something like this. Um, hopefully even more if it's a recent style. I think it was recent style, I'd have to check. But I'm really happy with this one, especially cause it's red as well. It's like the perfect season for it. It's like really nice. All right, so next we have a Free People Beach item. Um, I've actually never found a Free People Beach, uh, beach item, beach line um before but i was super happy to find this it's like this open knit um cover up we are kind of moving into the wrong season for this um but you know that really won't if it's at the bins like i really am not too worried about it um it definitely will sell maybe not right now um, but in the next couple months for sure i'm confused i thought this was like a straight like button up button down like cover up but this is a romper it's got shorts on it Okay, hold on. So this is probably worth more than I thought it was. I didn't even Google this one. Uh, this is a romper. So it's definitely like a, a beach like cover up, uh, but it is not just like a little cover up dress. It is a romper. How fun. Okay. But I'll have to do obviously some more research on this item as well to see kind of exactly what it's worth. But here is the tag, Free People Beach. But yeah. Cute. And it's a nice like plum color as well. So I like it. I think it'll do well. 
Next is, oh, okay, so this was actually more of a style pickup rather than a brand pickup. Um, I do pick up for style, I would say like relatively often. Um, I'm not too like all into the brands. You know, I do think that style kind of sells it sometimes, but we have Croft and Borrow. <laughs> uh, but is this really cute? It's, um, it's actually like a tunic sweater. So um, it's like a marled knit, let me see. It's like a marl knit, it has some nice um, like texture to it as well. Ribbed sleeves, it's got like tiny little leaves all over it. I think I actually dropped a couple pieces on the ground when I was bringing them in the house, so that might be my fault. <laughs> um, but here we are, super cute. This is also a size, I think it said large. Yeah, this is a size large. So I really like the coloring on this piece. I do think it will sell well. We're definitely moving into the right uh, season for it, so. We will see. Once again, we will see. Um, let's see. So this, this was something, another, like, moving into the right season. Uh, sorry, the, the sun keeps, like, going behind the clouds. I can, like, see it getting, like, darker and lighter. Um, so this is a vintage North Pole Package Co. One size fits most. Um, it is single stitch, but it is this graphic tee, and it has Santa on it. Seasons Greetings, North Pole Package Co. How cute is that? I just thought it's like a really nice, um, like a vintage graphic sting single stitch tee. Sorry, the air con just kicked on and I don't want it to come on. So let me just turn it off. Okay. Okay, it should turn off now. So the next item is this kind of like, is it a cargo jacket? I think I would say like a cargo jacket. It is this green jacket and it's pretty much like jeep branded it's got a bunch of like um embroidery for jeep on here it's got um a couple of the embroideries like a little bit plucked i might have to do a little bit of like trimming but it's got like little i don't want it to focus on me there we go it's got like jeep logos what else oh all the buttons they all say uh jeep rich on them all the buttons say Jeep Rich, just like that. So very interesting piece. Um, it's quite heavy. This is definitely like brought up my cost of goods a little bit, um, but it is a size, it's a 3XL. So a really large, like really great size. Um, lots of pockets, uh, lots of like zippers. It's got um, like pocket thingies. And what are these called? Like snap button cuffs. Um, so I'm really happy with this. Lovely. Next up, ooh, okay, so this, I was so happy when I found this. So this is a Maeve by Anthropology. It is this uh, kind of like a square neck uh, dress. I wasn't sure if it was like a tunic or like a dress, but it's definitely a dress. And it's got these little tie cuffs. Um, I'm not even sure what kind of print I would say. Like obviously this is uh, paisley at the bottom, like a paisley type print at the bottom, but um, it's really nice. I really like it. It is a size small. All right, so my next item here, this one is so cute. So this one, I do not believe I could, I couldn't find a brand in here unless it's like really hiding, um, but it is this reversible, kind of like a mini dress. Super cute. Um, so I'm pretty positive that it is, well, I'm like almost 100% positive that it's reversible. Um, it's got zippers on both, the inside here and the outside it is a ykk zipper so i was super happy to see that um i could not find any sort of branding on here it's very it is definitely like very y2k very um i almost want to say like barbie core i don't know if you guys have ever used that like tag before but barbie core for sure <laughs> um but i really like this floral side so Oh, okay, so I found um, some Pilcro jeans, which I don't always pick up Pilcro jeans. If it was like, like, if it was at like the regular Goodwill store, I probably would not have picked these up for more than like two or three dollars. Um, but from the bins, I will pick them up. We have a Pilcro and the letter press. Come on, focus, there we go. Pilcro and the letter press, uh, size 27. I don't think there was a style name on here. No. I do not know what the style is, but let me just button these up. They look really cute. You know, just some basic 
jeans. I think, I don't think they're, they're definitely not capris, but they might be like a slight crop. Um, yeah, they may be like a slight crop. Um, I don't know if that's a straight or a skinny. I might have to look a little bit closer, but uh, just some basic poker jeans, but I was happy to find these and they're in really good condition as well. All right, so next we have another vintage item. I really love picking up like unique vintage items. Uh, this one is from, it's called On The Verge. I have never ever heard this line, this line, uh, this brand before, but it's got this super cute like floral embroidered tag On The Verge, there we go. Um, and it does say made in USA next to it. It is a size extra large um, I'm not sure what kind of flowers are they daisies, possibly daisies, uh, daisy tiered, uh, maxi skirt. The elastic is still in great condition, still super stretchy. Um, but yeah, I believe it's a maxi skirt. Could be a more like a mini skirt. I think it's a maxi skirt, but a uh, super fun print, uh, especially like a vintage. Um, I've always done really well with like original vintage items like this. So I was very happy to find that. Um, but moving on to another kind of original piece is this Victoria Jones size petite small, but it's a Christmas sweater vest. How cute is this? It looks adorable. It's got like little like um, felt buttons on the front. It's got this like little patch on the back. What is that, a reindeer? Yeah, a little like Rudolph the reindeer patch on the back. Super cute. Honestly, I absolutely love stuff like this. It's got like a little contrast stitch, contrast stitch at the bottom. Yeah. And then we're definitely moving into the right season for this. So I am super happy with this. So cute. Next up, this was kind of like a maybe pick for me. This is something that I kind of thought about for a while. <laughs> um, but the brand is, oh gosh, Moulinette Sours, Sewers. I'm just gonna show you. It's a size four. There is the brand tag, Moulinette. And I've seen very, very mixed comps with like just this brand in general. Um, but it is this orange, like all lace, kind of like skirt. I, I don't know if it's a skater skirt, um, but it's like a circle skirt, um, super flowy, but you know, it's in really excellent condition. It is a little bit heavy, so I probably did pay at least a dollar or two for this one for sure. Um, but I will do some more research on this guy and see uh, what I can get for him. Next up, okay, so this one is another piece. Um, I feel like I've talked about it a few times in my last couple of videos, but for whatever reason, the brand Chico's has been like selling like crazy for me. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, so I did come across these. They are the Chico's so so well, the Chico's so slimming girlfriend slim leg ankle jean. Um, they are a size so it's a U.S. size 14 regular, so 14 regular length. So they are these black pants, but they have this really pretty purple floral embroidery on the side. I don't know if you can really see that, but it is so cute and it's such like a pretty embroidery as well. And it's on both sides. So I thought I would go ahead and just pick these guys up. Um, I'm hoping honestly, I could get at least like 30, 35 for these, especially with the embroidery. I think that they're just a little bit elevated over like a regular Chico's piece. Like I definitely would not have picked these pants up if they were like just the pants, you know, I think the the embroidery is really what like will sell these pants. So Next up, oh, so this one is fine. Uh, this is a brand that I actually haven't found in a while. It is uh, Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. Uh, size small, it is this cute little like baby blue floral mini dress. And it is, it does button all the way down, um, but it's super cute. It has like little like cap sleeves. It has like a little like lace, um, I don't even know what it's called, like lace lining or lace edge there it is lace lace edge uh super cute i think it's a hundred percent viscose yeah a hundred percent viscose but i really like this piece i think denim and supply by ralph lauren does sell pretty well for me so i'm happy so this one here was probably one of my other favorite finds 
Um, unfortunately, there is no content tag on here. I know the brand, the brand, it's like a vintage brand, uh, Private Eyes, um, but it is this super cute geometric, uh, like knit sweater. It's got really nice, like, I guess they're almost like balloon sleeves. I would call them balloon sleeves. So because it doesn't have a contact tag, I would say that it, it does feel like some sort of wool or alpaca blend. Um, but obviously there's really no way to know for sure without a content tag, but it does have like, if I can zoom in on these, it does have like, you can just see like the, the different like hairs in there almost. Does that make sense? You know, everything that I've picked up is like wool, wool blend sometimes looks like this. So maybe not wool, like maybe more like alpaca or something, but really cute sweater. I really love this. This is definitely something that like I would wear. So lovely. We are approaching the end. We've got three, four more left. Uh, but this one, I didn't even look at the brand at this one. I just uh, threw it in my cart and I decided that I would look later. Um, but I'm glad I did because it is Lulu's size extra small. It is this super cute, I think they're like cherry blossoms. And it's got ruffles, cherry blossom dress. It's got ruffles. It's got um, like just like flowy tears, super pretty. Um, it does have a lining inside, which is really nice. But uh, this is also in like excellent condition. So I'm really happy that I found this one. So cute. Obviously the top of the back is a little bit sheer. I'm not sure if you can see through it. I don't think the camera will pick up that you can see through it, but the back itself is pretty sheer, but the front, uh, like the bust at the front, and then the, I would say like maybe half of the skirt is lined. So it looks really good. I'm happy with it. All right, next up we have, so this was another piece. Um, it is, gosh, these names, soy blue, soy blue. So there it is. I'll just show you instead of butchering the name. So blue. <laughs> uh, it is a size large and it is this like all over, I don't know if it would say ivory, but maybe like an off white slash like cream dress. Super pretty, has a uh, sleeveless, it has like the lace edge or like a crochet edge almost. Um, back zipper, okay. Sorry, my camera stopped recording. I'm not sure where I finished right there. Um, but I think I was just showing like the back of this dress. It's got like a back zipper. Um, I think this would be like super flattering on somebody, um, especially this little like fringe end at the back on the bottom. So cute. Love that. And our second to last item is, where is it? It is an Urban Outfitters. It's like this tag from Urban Outfitters. I think, it, I think it's one of their newer tags. I could be wrong, but um, it is this large, it's almost like a sweater dress. That's how I would describe it. It kind of looks like long enough to be a sweater dress, but it might be more like a tunic length. Uh, but chunky knit sweater, it is like, do you see that? I'm not sure. I need, definitely need to like look at the stock photos, but it's like wavy. Do you see that? I don't know if that's like, it's on both sides too. So I'm definitely thinking that's like how it was made. At first I was like, oh, they're like bumps from like the hanger. You know, sometimes sweaters can get that. Uh, but that's definitely not what that is. I'm not sure, probably part of the style maybe, but we will do go that one. But super cute, chunky, it's long. Um, I'm happy with that. This is also, it's a size small, but it's a very oversized small. Um, I could definitely fit in this, so I could probably fit up to like a medium or a large for sure, but lovely. And our very last item, I didn't even realize that this was so expensive when I put it in my cart, um, but the brand is Onesie. It is a, I think it's like a sports bra, but I think some people use it as like a swim top. Leopard, um, kind of like really strappy back top. And if I remember correctly, I saw a couple of them listed for like upwards of $45 and quite a few of them had sold for around the 35 to 38 mark. Um, a couple of them I saw were like more like 25, but the ones that were new with tags were definitely like 35 and up. Uh, but yeah, I did not think that something like this would be that expensive, but I'm glad I looked it up and didn't just like throw it back. So, but I think 
that is everything. All right, that is the end of this video. I really hoped you like it and please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I did actually start a kind of like a vlog series, a reseller vlog series. I already have the first episode posted. Uh, be sure to check out that episode at the end of this video. I will leave a link to it. Uh, but otherwise, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.